Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have seen uh, the exception, what is runtime error, how we can handle that error in our exception block, what is predefined exception, what is user defined exceptions. All these things we have learned in our last tutorial. Uh, so today we are going to see the examples of actually predefined exceptions. Okay, so for that I have uh, written a small thing here here i'm you know i'm going to explain you what is uh, you know predefined exceptions so here we i have uh, uh, i'm going to show you three exceptions three predefined exceptions actually the first one is uh, too many rows and the second one is zero divide third one is no data found these all three are predefined exception actually okay so this uh, whenever we get you know whenever we are getting too many rows into one variable okay that is what i have written here this exception we get when a select statement select into statement runs more than one row it means that if one variable is going to contain uh, two or more variable uh, two or more values at that time we get too many rows uh, error actually runtime error and how we can uh, you know handle it i'll how we can you know handle this exception i'll let you in my example thing actually okay and what is the code of this uh, exception the code is 01422 this is actually defined by oracle itself okay now the second one is zero divide whenever we will try to divide any number with zero we get this error actually this runtime error and the code of this error is 01 01476 uh, here i have written the same thing a program attempts to divide a number by zero so whenever we are we will you know we will try to divide a number with zero we will get this error actually and the third third one i'm going to show you is no data found so this no data found we will get this error when a select into statement returns no rows or your program references a deleted element in a nested table or an uninitialized element in an uh, index by table okay so i'll uh, so what happens if we will try to select any value in our variable and that value is having i mean no any values there in in that variable so in that case we will get no data found error okay and the code of this error is ora 01403 okay i'll i'll i'm going to explain you all these three uh, uh, exceptions all these three errors in our in my examples actually okay so for that let's jump here so first i'm going to show you the example for too many rows okay so let's come down yeah so here i have written a small program which will help you to understand uh, the runtime error and how we can handle this error in better way okay so here by what i have done in our declare uh, normally we used to you know we use uh, to declare the variable then we are we will uh, we begin the section we, here we used to write you know our code then we have exception block where we used to handle our error and then we end the block okay so hope you all are knowing about the you know basic syntax of PLSQL code okay fine so now here I have declared a variable called v underscore f name which is a varchar 2 type having size as 100 here what I'm going to do here I, I just have I'm just going to select first name into VF name from employees table okay so what we are doing we are selecting first name the name of the column is first name uh, of employees table so we are selecting first name into VF name this variable from employees table okay so in this case what happens we could get many values okay so because we uh, I'll, I'll show you the uh, table data also so that you will get to know what data actually are there in our table okay so when we will get uh, you know when we will uh, we will be doing something like this we will get too many rows uh, you know error so in this case what we can do we can handle the exception using uh, in this exception block what we can do we will do when too many rows then raise application error and here we can we can write you know our own exception code okay so it actually starts from 20,000 to minus 2 0 0 0 1 to uh, 4, 40,000 actually okay and here we can write our own message whatever we want to write okay so let me copy this code and uh, run this in uh, uh, our SQL workshop here before that let me remove this exception block actually which will help you to you know get the data get the error first 
so let me remove this so as you can see i have commented the exception code now i'm going to run this code uh, before that let me increase the font size yeah hope this thing is visible now yeah so i have commented exception code exception block of code and here i just have selected uh, data into it and i'm just trying to end it okay so now run this code run so as you can see exact fetch returns more than requested number of rows this is what our error is 01422 so this is our runtime error okay so this error can be handled by us in our exception block so that is what i have written here in in my exception block what i'm doing uh i'm saying when too many rows this is you know predefined exception this is predefined exception so when too many rows then raise application error we are getting more rows in one variable so now let's run this code and here we will be getting our own actually message we are getting more rows in one variable so as you can see how we are handling the error actually this is what you know this is how our exception block help us to handle the error so this is one example uh, when we will get we, we, we will be getting too many rows uh, error now the second example is zero divide let me copy this code and before that let me uh, explain you first here i have declared three variables v underscore num1 num2 and results Bo all three are of number type here what i have done num1 is having value as 10 num2 is having value as 0 and in our result variable i am trying to divide num1 with num2 actually num2 is, con uh, is having value as 0 so this will give us error as zero divide okay so and so here i'm dividing the value and i'm getting the results using dbms underscore output package okay so let me copy this code Control c and paste in our sql workshop here before that let me delete the old code and paste the uh, new one and let me come in this exception thing which will let you to get the error first yeah now run this code so we will be getting divisor is equal to zero so this is what our error is runtime error so uh, we can handle this error how we can handle this error using this exception block so let me remove this comment and run this again and uh, you can see we are getting our own message hey you are dividing the number by zero so this is how we can handle the error okay now let's get let's see the example number three okay let me come down here example for no data found okay so here what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to select uh, the value so uh, here i have declared a variable v underscore f name uh, and here what i'm trying to do i'm trying to do select first name into vf name from employees where employee id is 90 so i'll show you the employees table let me show you let me copy this and paste in our sql workshop here delete old code paste new one but before that let me show you the data of employees table for that i'll do select star from employees and run this code so we have these many data okay and this is department id so department id 90 so these are all the values let me do you know order by department id order by department id now run this code so here we are getting all the department ids okay as you can see now uh, what i what i'm trying to do here and yeah so what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to select some value in our vf name uh, variable having employee id is 90 so let's see any employee id is having value as 90 so let me do uh, you know uh, order by employee id actually which will help us to get the value employee id now run this code order by employee id no that's fine sorry employees i have written here and run this code so as you can see employee id start getting started with 100 
not actually 90 so no any employees present with employee id 90 okay so in this case we will get no data found error okay so just just to get the error let me you know uh, remove this exception block where we are handling error actually so i have removed it now let's run this code run and uh, we will be getting no data found error as you can see so this error can be handled here we are uh, you know handling the error actually so what i have written in exception block i have written when no data found then raise application error no app no employees found please check okay so this is our own message our own error uh, you know the message to end user okay so let me copy this uh, sorry let me run this and uh, as you can see no employees found please check so this is how we can you know handle the error runtime error in our exception block so these all are predefined exception actually okay hope this exam these examples and uh, the concept of predefined exception is clear to you for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box that's it for today if you like the video please like and share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel all right so uh, i'll be coming in next tutorial thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much